Hi everyone, it's January 13, 2015. Okay, I have a question. And my question is because I grew up in New York and lived in areas of Massachusetts where football was not the main thing happening. But it wasn't until I left Massachusetts two years ago and stayed in a couple of other places around the country that I realized this football craze, it was just off my radar. I didn't get it. But I cannot believe, especially now that I'm living in an area close to Clemson University, where football, football, football is almost the only thing in people's lives. It is unbelievable to me. I guess their uh, mascot is a tiger. I'm not even sure of that. But you, you drive around and you see almost every other car with this tiger orange footprint. This orange tiger footprint on their cars. Or people have flags sticking out with Clemson football. Football, football. I live close to an IB school. International Baccalaureate. Do the research. United Nations Indoctrination Centers for American Children who think that they're going to these wonderful schools, they're privileged to attend, and they're being trained on how to become a good global citizen. They've pretty much knocked out American history from their curriculum. But I, during the summer, I could not believe what I would see these kids training on the football team and when they would have football games, their parents out there with their chairs and their food and their drinks and they're screaming for their kids and football, football, football. I mean, it would be like 95 degrees and you would see these kids limping along, but they would never stop the training. Uh-uh, no. Keep those kids at it. Football. It, it is. It. And what? I know that this is new. Our police looking like military. But has this been going on forever? And I just didn't notice it because of where I was living. And that's a big problem because we tend to think that what we're living, everybody's living. Wow, that is so untrue. Really untrue. You know, people have very different lives with very different experiences. And, you know, we've got to break through that bubble of thinking that our life is just like everybody else's life. But it, so this is, this is Ohio State after a football game. After a football game, the fans were actually delighted with the result, apparently, but they still were yelling and screaming and setting nearly 90 fires, and in the case of a few, tearing down a goalpost? Are you kidding me? See, this to me, I, I can't help but think it's the frequencies that is causing this kind of behavior. And then, you know, our entire culture has changed with this militarization of the police. They use tear gas to disperse crowds after a football game. After a football game. Watch this. It's only a few seconds. Were Americans always acting like this? Or is this new? I think it's new. I think probably football has been a big, you know, um, item on people's, in people's lives for a long time. But has it really gotten to this point where almost nobody knows how to act or behave normally anymore? Let me know what you think. It, it's really... It, it, tear gas to disperse 
crowds after a football game. And you know what? The, the football game, they were happy with the results. And this is what happens? Are you kidding me? Wow. Have a good day, guys.